Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Brandon West, and I'm going to be reacting to Bat Count Count from Event Sevenfold. Um, I just did uh, recently. I did uh, Sidewinder from these guys. I freaking love that song. I, I've been listening to it outside of the video a lot when I'm driving around. It's a good song. I'm really jamming to it. Um, so yes, I'm excited to get into some more Avenged. Um, I had a commenter recommend this one. Um, I'll put his thing on the screen. Uh, but uh, he recommended the lyric video, um, so I'm, I pulled that one up. Um, I'm sorry if I don't like pay a ton of attention to the lyrics, because um, when I, usually when I'm first getting into music, I really focus on the instrumentals and the actual like the the musicianship behind it. Um, that's kind of what I that's what draw like brings me in. Um, and then later I can kind of go in and look at the lyrics. I just want to feel the music first off. Um, so I think maybe with this video, I'll listen to it, do this initial reaction, and just jam out to it. And then I'll listen to it again on my own time, and then I'll edit that in and kind of let you know what I think of the lyrics. Um, but yes, let's get into it. I've been wasting too much time. So yes, Avenge Sevenfold, Bat Country. Oh yeah, right off the bat with this one. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Oh, I didn't do it that time. I love it when these guys do this. Okay, so uh, let's talk about what I think so far. It's a lot more just like die hard heavy than Sidewinder was. Um, the first like minute or so seemed kind of generic-ish, but they're 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 changing it up. Which is cool. I'm liking that. Um, lyrically, like I said, I don't pay a ton of attention to lyrics my first few listens. Um, but kind of what I'm gathering, obviously the beginning, uh, I don't remember exactly what he says, but essentially make yourself into a beast not to not have to deal with being a man or something along those lines. Um, and talking about pulling the trigger and drugs from what I, I think. Um, I'm I, kind of what I'm pit, like putting together just a little snippets that I've gotten so far um, is that maybe it's like some sort of crime like a mafia guy or something that's having to turn off his, his humanity to do his job and drugs kind of numb the pain um, that's kind of what I'm getting I'm probably really wrong I'll, let, I'll correct myself later when I read the, the lyrics um, but yes let's continue <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Very unconventional beat, I think. Sorry to pause it again, but their their drummer, he kinda plays like a prog drummer. Like it's not quite 
Like, it's not quite playing a rhythm. He's just kind of doing his thing, um, which is interesting. It's tough on first listens, but like I've said in the past, it's something that I'll, I'll learn to enjoy. Like with Sidewinder, um, I like didn't quite connect with it first listen, but the more I listen to it, I'm really jamming to that song now. And that's really just how the, the prog slash progressive sound is. You know, you rarely like it first listen. Um, but yes, so far I do like the song. I see it as something I would listen to. But yes, let's continue. Oh, that was cool. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good solo right there. Heck yeah. This song's taking a whole new turn now. This is awesome. This is really nice right here. That kind of changes my perspective a little bit. I'm too weird to live, but too much, too much, too rare to die. That's really cool, actually. Um, maybe it's about his personal experiences in, in writing and in, in his creative career, because um, this is a, a bit of a strange band. Um, maybe he feels all these good ideas will tear your brain apart. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I, I personally am a very creative person, and I like to tell stories and create and make up stories. Um, I'm working on getting into writing. I'm not. I, I'm just starting. I'm not the best, but um, I can see that because from my personal experiences, I have a lot of story ideas that I've been creating since I was very small, um, and they they have just sat in my brain and it's just me that knows them and I, I I so badly want to get them out to share them with the world and that but I doubt myself this song wow the like I, I've doubted myself like maybe my stories aren't that great maybe my ideas suck I shouldn't put them out there people are gonna hurt harm me by harming my stories in a sense um, so lyrically yeah 
that. I can see that. That connects with me. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, but yes. Let's give it some distance. Unless that's just the end. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, that was an awesome song, actually. It's a bit shorter and a little more... Uh, I can see it being one of their more popular songs. Um, but it's good. I, I'm definitely going to add this to the playlist. That's going on Spotify, 100%. I'm listening to that after after this video, for sure. Um, it's really been a treat listening to the music I've been reacting to. I've done a lot of videos I haven't uploaded yet. Um, and I've just been listening to them, and I've, I've quite enjoyed it. Um, but that song was... Yeah, that was a good song. Um, yeah, I would love to, I'd love to hear more Revenge. Please put that in the comments. Um, but before I end the video... I am going to go back, I'm going to stop this recording, and I'm going to go back and listen to the song again and try to get a better understanding of the lyrics. But from my initial reaction, you, I've kind of already explained it. It, it. it sounds to me like he's describing his struggles in, in, in writing and his creativity. Um, but yes. So yeah, we'll jump into that. Dang. Yeah, I've just listened to it again. Um, it's, it sounds to me like... Um, someone that's struggling with suicidal thoughts um, and just struggling with life in general um, just life is hard um, and it sounds like it's coming from a unique perspective of a creative because I mean he mentions a lot of things he probably I still think there are there is some drug use in there um, and that I don't know <laughs> it's confusing it's cool. I, like I said, I could see it as his life struggles and his struggles to tell himself to, to stay alive, essentially. Um, and, it, and kind of my, my theory on his creativity it still holds with... Um, I can't remember exactly what he says, but he says something about something, something, set your mind free or... So I imagine he's using the stories or just his creativity to set his mind free. Um, but the creativity is hard because he doubts himself is kind of what I get from that. That's At least that's a part of what the song's about. Um, and there's also a lot of other struggles. It just seems like it's, he's singing about his life struggles. Um, but that, that's just that specific part is something I resonate with. Like, I really get that. Um, but yes, that's, that's kind of my idea. I could, it could change in the future. I don't know. Um, I will encourage you to post your ideas in the comments of what the song might be about. Um, I know music is a very personal thing. People can get very attached to music. And it's very different for everybody. It, songs are very different depending on your outcome and your, your outlook on life and the lyrics in, them, in, them, in, in, the, in and of themselves. <laughs> um, so please, post your, post your ideas. It's always fun to get a different perspective. Um, but yes, that's my, my take on the lyrics. Okay. Well, I don't know what I said. This is still the same recording. But I'm going to end. I'm going to do the outro now. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, please post the comments of, of uh, suggestions. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.